Dubai isn't your average cosmopolitan city. It's a lively place, rich in culture and steeped in history. And although it may be known for architectural marvels, the city is complemented by an array of landscapes, wildlife, and natural wonders. What sets it apart is its many unexpected surprises. The first location gives us a glimpse into the city's history and beginnings as a thriving trade hub. Set in the spectacular desert landscape, the Saruk al-Hadid archaeological site is one of the most exciting discoveries of the 21st century. The site is considered to have been a center of constant human habitation, trade, and metallurgy, dating back over 3,000 years to the Iron Age. Unique artifacts discovered at the site are on public display at the world's only live museum. The Saruk Al-Hadid Archaeology Museum allows visitors to delve deeper into the story of bustling trade routes between some of the most influential civilizations. Regularly updated artifacts housed at the museum include axe heads and daggers to metal and stone jewelry, among them a 4,000-year-old intricate gold ring which inspired the logo of the iconic Expo 2020. The 3D Cinematic Room transports visitors to the edge of the desert to learn more about some of the fascinating discoveries. Our next spot is home to a huge variety of feathered residents. Just inside the bustling city of Dubai, you'll find a treasure trove of diverse bird life in the vast wetlands of the Ras Al Khor Wildlife Sanctuary. Known as the Cape of the Creek, it comprises a variety of salt flats, mangroves, and natural lagoons that is one of the few urban protected areas in the region. From one of the three bird hides, you can witness more than 25,000 resident and migratory birds, which include great egrets, reef herons, cormorants, and more. Though the real stars of the show are the pink flamingos that flock to the area during the winter in the hope of attracting a mate. A Leica telescope sits at the mangrove hide on the southern edge of the sanctuary to watch the majestic raptors and greater spotted eagles soar overhead. Guided tours take visitors on a journey to explore the wetlands through the eyes of a conservationist. Our next location goes deep into the water off Dubai's coast. A short ride from Dubai's glistening shoreline lies a little-known marine adventure. The emerald waters of the Gulf were once known for pearl diving and bustling trade. Over 500 species of aquatic life reside in the pristine, warm waters surrounding Dubai. These waters are home to many magical secrets of the underwater world. One of the most popular dive sites sits at a depth of 30 meters. The Zainab, a 70-meter-long oil smuggling vessel bound for Asia, is a thrilling deep wreck site for advanced open-water divers. Other interesting wrecks include the Sheikh Mohammed Barge, Neptune 6, and Victoria Star, where divers can explore many more mysteries that lie deep below. Next, we head into the desert to discover diverse wildlife that thrives in one of the largest conservation reserves in the region. Only half an hour from Dubai and spanning more than 40 hectares of tranquil desert shrubland and wetlands, the Al Marmoon Reserve is home to over 200 species of native birds. The name Marmoon is inspired by one of its most revered occupants, the Hubara Bustard, an internationally protected species of bird that nomadic civilizations relied on heavily to survive in the Arabian deserts. Tall observation towers like the Nest look out over 19 species of endangered animals, the highest concentration of large flamingos in a desert environment, and one of the largest Arabian gazelle herds in the UAE. The Al Marmoum Bedouin experience takes visitors on a historical adventure to discover what life was like in the 9th century when nomadic Bedouin traversed the deserts. Visitors can enjoy cultural performances, a falcon show, and delectable Emirati cuisine surrounded by the majesty of the desert dunes. And last, we travel through the desert in the dark of the night to experience the wonders of Islamic astronomy. Thousands of years ago, to navigate the vast dunes of Dubai, 
Bedouins used a technique involving the sun and stars. Instead of compasses, they used their own shadows as well as sand dunes that were shaped by the wind to traverse the desert. Due to the constantly shifting landscape, the majority of their traveling was done by night when stars lit up the sky, making it a more trustworthy navigation source. The role of Islamic astronomy, particularly from the 9th to 13th centuries, still impacts modern navigation. Today, these ancient techniques and stories are still shared in Dubai. From the mountains of Hatta to the dunes of Al Marmoum, the mesmerizing tales of the dancer Arrakis and the flying eagle Altair are but just a few. Settle in and let these legends transport you.